Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail DIY video using poly gel. I'm going to be using this poly gel from Roslyn today and this is the set that I'm going for. So if you guys are interested in seeing my nails go from crap to cute like in the beginning then make sure you keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting out, um, I already cut my nails down, but I am gonna just like lightly file them and shape them up so they look really cute because some of the nails are gonna be like a clear um, where you're gonna be able to see through and see my nail through it. So I wanna make sure that my nails don't look crazy underneath the tip because they are clear tips as well. And then I'm going in and pushing back my cuticles. I just try to like, go through this part quickly because I do the same um, thing every single time, the same little routine, and you guys have seen it a bajillion times at this point. Um, but that's what my nails look like, all cleaned and manicured and filed, squared away. And then I'm gonna go on with these stiletto tips from, um, I purchased these off of Amazon. Everything that I purchase is pretty much off of Amazon and it'll all be linked down below. They will be affiliate links, so you can choose whether or not you want to purchase through the affiliate link or not. Um, gluing on the tips. And I know I'm going for a coffin shape um, and then I'm gonna cut them down obviously and then shape them up with my nail file. So that's what they look like, all glued on. They're super long and then I cut them I made sure that they were all even and then I went ahead and I just buffed the surface you want the surface to be buffed you don't want to leave it shiny because then the poly gel won't stick and it won't last as long so you want to buff your natural nail and the tip and then I'm going in with this primer I'm pretty sure I was supposed to do the dehydrator first and then the primer but I kind of switched it around um, so that was my fault but I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure you guys know I'm not a professional I don't claim to be a professional I'm DIY queen, okay? I just like to do it on myself and I film it for you guys because you guys enjoy it so much. So when you leave your tips and your comments and concerns in the comment section, I always read them and I appreciate them. I'm just, I can't believe I didn't even show you guys the foundation bottle for the Jellish kit, but you guys know I use this Jellish kit in literally every single video. It's just, it, it really is just so helpful because it comes with everything that I need um, to do my little gel sets, my poly gel sets and my gel sets. So I'm going in with a layer of the foundation I cured for 60 seconds. And then I'm going in with this shiny gel. It's literally just called shiny gel from Rosalind poly gel. I purchased this off of AliExpress and I'm putting some alcohol in my little dishy dish. And this method of squeezing the poly gel directly onto the nail is honestly like so easy once you get the hang of it. I squeeze a little bit too much for the shiny gel so you're gonna see um, how I basically just, I'm shaping the nail and then whatever's excess, I'm gonna just roll off of the tip of the nail into like a bead. And the great thing about poly gel is because it doesn't dry until you cure it, I can use that bead on another nail so I, I just love poly gel. Um, it's really easy to use and I feel like squeezing it directly from the bottle onto the nail is the best method um, because the, especially because the Roslyn poly gel is not very sticky and I don't use a lot of alcohol with it. I'm using 70% alcohol by the way. I don't think I said that earlier. But because it's not a super sticky poly gel, I'm able to just like form my nail super easy and quick. When I tell you I laid this poly gel, like per finger, it probably took me like a minute, <laughs> like 60 seconds and the nail was formed. And because um, consistency of the rosin poly gel, it does level out pretty much like on its own. You can even flip your hand upside down and the poly gel will level out so that it's really smooth and even. And yeah, so for the ring finger, I did the shiny nail with the glitter in it, which I thought was really cute. And then the middle finger, I did the icy blue color from Rosalind. And then for the index finger, which is what I'm doing now, I'm gonna do an ombre. I should have put more um, of the blue. You guys are gonna see next, but that clear, the, the clear glittery nail, it just looks so cute. So I'm going in with the icy blue. 
So I did the clear, right? But I only did it three quarters of the way on the nail. And then I put the blue poly gel like just at the top near the cuticle. And I'm gonna overlap the blue onto the clear, obviously, because I'm doing an ombre, like a little fade. Um, I just, I shouldn't have taken off. I wanted to show you guys, I took off way too much of the blue, like when I was leveling it out. I shouldn't, I should have left that <laughs> there, but I did it because I don't even know why. So, but this method, honey, it's so fast. Like forget making like a little bead and doing it in beads. Like squeezing it directly on is the new wave. Like, I don't know who else is doing this. I don't know if someone, if anyone else on YouTube is doing this, but this is my favorite method with using poly gel i just love it so much like it's so fast you just have to be careful with how much you squeeze onto the nail and make sure that you don't squeeze on too much of the poly gel which sometimes i do but again because it doesn't dry um, until you cure it you can always use that excess poly gel for whatever you need you know on another nail for the thumb, I wanted to do like an encapsulated nail. I've never tried it with a colored poly gel before. So I'm doing the blue, the icy blue color from Rosalind, and I'm doing like the V shape to make like a, a French tip V shape kind of situation, but it's blue and then it's gonna have the clear. So I formed my little V. And I'm honestly, I'm not using a lot of alcohol. My brush seems like it's really wet, but I'm, I'm only dipping into the alcohol like once or twice per finger, so. And then before I go in with the clear, you have to shape up the encapsulated nail. So I have to sharpen the sides of that icy blue poly gel so that it looks really crisp and sharp once I lay the clear um, shiny gel on top or just around it. So that's what that looks like. I'm going in with the shiny gel. This clip being out of focus really upset my heart. Like it made me sad. It upset me and my homegirls, you know? Like go in, pat that bad boy in. It's okay if it looks a little sloppy because you're gonna file it all away. And that's what my nails look like. I started filing them. I didn't show you after just laying the poly gel, but I'm just cleaning up those edges, sharpening up those edges, making sure they're very sharp and crisp. I like a nice coffin shape, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm showing you guys that I use this electric nail file that I purchased off of Amazon. I think this was like $20, like 20 or $25. Um, super affordable. And look at all the stuff that it came with. It came with so many different nail bits. I was like, wow, and it's portable too, so it doesn't have that big bulky base that it plugs into. It's just the like the handheld e-file, which I love because I can literally like, if I needed to, I could take it with me, you know, somewhere. Or it's just easier to move around as opposed to having the, you know, the traditional one. So I really like that and it's super affordable. Cleans my nails with a little bit of alcohol. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with these little rhinestones that I purchased. I believe I got these off of Amazon as well. Um, I have two different sizes. It's really small ones and then I have larger ones. And I'm gonna use my Gelish top coat from the Gelish kit. And I'm gonna do a layer of that first um, on this nail. I'm doing rhinestones on my pinky and on my middle finger. So for the pinky I did a layer of the top coat and then I cured it and then I went in with a little bit more towards the cuticle area and I'm just doing like a little C shape or semi curve or semicircle <laughs> of rhinestones right along the cuticle. I thought this would be like a really cute touch to the pinky nail. That pinky nail looks so good, like wow. Look at the shape of that, yes girl. Go ahead and cure that. And then I'm just doing top coat on the ring finger. I, did, I decided not to do any rhinestones. I mean, you can do whatever you, whatever you please, whatever your heart desires. At this point, I was just freestyling it because I was like, it didn't come out exactly like the picture, but it was the same kind of vibe, you know? 
That's my top coat on the middle finger. And then for this one, I wanted the rhinestones to be a bit more dramatic and just a little bit more because this is like an accent finger. So I did a, one of the really big rhinestones right in the center and then I did a cluster of smaller rhinestones all around it. Um, and I, I don't really know what the shape of it is. Honestly, I was just doing anything, but it came out really cute. So you guys can just watch me do this. Oh, and just a tip to make sure that your rhinestones really like stay on for your entire duration of you having this set on your nails, you should cap the rhinestones with a little bit of the top coat, like not too much, cause you don't want it to be like lumpy and bumpy. <laughs> but um, you do wanna make sure that they're like coated so that they don't catch on to anything and then pop off. Cause I've done that before where I didn't put enough and they just like easily popped off. And then for the remaining nails, I'm just going in with my clear top coat. Make sure you cap your edges. I cured for 60 seconds, and then I'm going in with my Gelish Nourish Cuticle Oil, and I'm just doing that all over the nails, and they look so good. They look so cute. At first, I was like, I don't know if I like this set, because I don't do color. I'm such a nudes, neutrals kind of girl, but it came out so cute. Like, honestly, it came out really cute. If you guys like this set, if you love this set, give this video a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam. There will be new videos two times a week. My new upload schedules is going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm officially setting those days as my upload schedule, so make sure your post notifications are turned on. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.